and tech welcome just a quick one here to view your raspberry pi on your windows computer you need vnc viewer but it needs to be enabled on your raspberry pi so go to the pi top left click preferences there that's preferences then go to raspberry pi configuration and then here this window just go to interface and enable VNC and you might as well enable SSH while you're here. Anything else? We enable everything. Anyway, we're just going to click OK on that. It might ask us to reboot. We, we could change the display resolution if it's, you know, not great. We'll leave it there for now. We can always come back, but it will, we'll be able to go into it soon anyway. Okay, let's see what else is there. And it's going to ask us to reboot. Hopefully, we can now view on our PC. Yeah, it actually didn't ask me to reboot, but we'll uh, reboot anyway just to be on the safe side. So the nice thing now is when you download VNC Viewer, which is this program, it's a free download. Not sure how long you can use it for free, but you download it, you get this kind of window that uses the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Now I find the IP address just by looking in my browser, there it is there, Raspberry Pi, but you can use Angry IP, that will search your browser, and you obviously have to be connected on the same network, so all joined on the same wire, Wi-Fi or wired network. Then you, so when you run VNC Viewer, so this is me running VNC Viewer, and you put the IP address at the top here, of the Raspberry Pi, when it does work, you get this message come through that looks like this. If you get this far, it's gonna work and it's gonna to connect to my Raspberry Pi. So I click connect. Now I, I did put a username and password into my Raspberry Pi. I think the, the standard one is Pi and Raspberry, uh, but I've made one up. So I've just put in and there we are. We're actually looking at my Raspberry Pi now. Raspberry Pi 5, and I, it's very fast. I'm very pleased with it. It's connected, it was connected to configure via a HDMI adapter. They're only small, they're only about three pound. And that looks fine to me. Now, the other thing to check, now of course we can now configure everything we want to in the Pi without having to use, you know, swap around and look at different, uh, uh, connect different HDMI cables to different monitors, which is a pain. So that's the really good thing about real VNC viewer. I'll put a link in for the download. Also, let's see if we can, because I remember I, I selected SSH. We should be able to now putty in. So download putty. Again, link in the description. Download that. When you open it, just click the shortcut. Put the same IP address here. See, it says SSH. So you can use a cable, a USB cable. It's just a different kind of connection. And do you remember that in the, in the settings of the Pi, we had that ability. So I, I might turn that on. We've got the IP address putty, click open. It should now get to this point. We accept, open, it automatically opened that window. Accept, and now we can put in the same username and password into that window, and we'll be able to log in. And that's it, we're now into putty, and then we can make changes there. The other program you can use to make changes is WinSCP. You're basically changing things in the SD card. You don't actually even need to connect to the Pi. You can make changes just on the SD card. So let's enable the thing that we disable. Let's enable the serial connection. And then we'll end the video. I'm sorry I'm just filming my screen, but I'm at the early stages of learning. So we'll go preferences again, Raspberry Pi configuration, interface. And this time we're going to turn on serial port and, and, serial, and click OK. OK, yes, we're going to reboot as well. We've rebooted. We put a USB cable into the into the Pi and into my PC. We're going to go serial this time. And let's see if we can find it in the COM port. Anyway, I think we've done enough for one day. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best.